Hello you guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Schleich Horse Cardboard Barn. Now, this craft does include scissors, so this is just a warning to anyone that has a trigger warning towards scissors, and I'll also put it up on the screen. Alright, so let's get started. You will need a piece of cardboard, scissors, a hot glue gun, glue, stick glue preferably, a Schleich horse, a marker, any kind, does not have to be sharpie and it does not have to be a black marker, and a piece of paper. So this is just a fair warning, all parents out here, um, do not let your kids do this unsupervised if they're younger, and yeah, that's basically it, let's get into it. First, you're going to draw out a rectangle. Next, you're going to cut it out. So you're basically going to set your horse down, and this is going to be the length and width of your stall. I think I want to put my stall... Hmm... Hmm... This is a toughie. I think I want to make it here. Then after you have your stall mapped out, you're going to grab your piece of cardboard from earlier and you're going to trim off one side. Next, you're going to determine how tall you want your stable to be. I want my stable to be about that tall. Uh, so, that tall. So, I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to place it. And that's how tall my stall is going to be, and I'm also going to cut it, um, and then I'm also going to cut it on this side so it measures. Always cut less than you think you need. You know. That's going good there. And you're actually going to trim this in half. I know. I'm, well, actually less than half. You're going to want to trim it about there. Then this, you want to make it even though. Then this is going to go like that, and you're going to create a sliding door. Yes, you heard me, a sliding door. So you're also going to want to trim just a little bit off the top of this one and a little bit down. Once you have your two pieces, then you're going to want to cut even more off these, and you're going to want to just cut all the sides off. I'm not even joking. It might take a second, but... Once you have that done, you should have pretty big pieces like this. You're gonna glue them on the edge of your little rectangle here. But, leave one side open. The, st the side opposite from your stall. After you've done that, you are going to put one piece here, the piece that you made before. You're going to put it there. Second piece. I think this goes up. Hold on. It does. And you're going to have... A sliding door, so this is gonna go like this, and this one's smaller than that one. Wait, no, nope, I was right. It's... So you're gonna glue only this one down, all right? Next, you're gonna take a small piece of cardboard and smush it, and then fold it till it looks like a circle. Something sort of like this, and you're gonna do this twice. And you're gonna glue this part and this part together. This will be your door and you're gonna glue both of these things that you just made on the top, like this. I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner and thread it through all the way. And you're gonna glue the pipe cleaner right there. So it's like, so it's sort of on the top like that. There you go, you have your stall. Now let's move on to the name tag. For the name tag, you're going to cut a thin piece of cardboard. Like 
like that. Next, you're going to cut out a piece of paper to match the size of your piece of cardboard. Next, you're going to glue your piece of paper to your piece of cardboard. Then, with your, with your marker, you're going to draw a cool design on it, like this. Then, you're going to draw your wonderful horse's name on it, like this. And you're going to glue it to this. In the end, it should look something like this. Then you're gonna grab two, you're gonna grab a long piece of cardboard about this size. You're gonna cut it in half. And you're gonna glue both pieces here. That is where you can put your tack. There you go, it's the perfect it simple like horse barn with a sliding door and a little place for your tack. I really do hope this helped. Bye, guys.